This is Ken Pyle with VOD TV at the uh, Minnesota Telecom Alliance's keynote luncheon, and we're with uh, Senator Brian Dorgan, a former senator from North Dakota. And Senator, you were involved in writing the 96 Act, and there was a very important phrase that you put in there you didn't even necessarily realize how important it was. Why don't you tell us what that was? Well, we obviously talked about uh, comparable service, we're talking about telephone service, comparable services at affordable prices, so that rural areas were able to get the same things as urban areas. But I included language that said including advanced services. Now we didn't know what advanced services might have been in 1996, but uh, broadband, high speed, big pipes, you know, that's, that's what advanced services is and it's what uh, most of the major metropolitan areas now receive quickly. We need to get that uh, out to rural areas as well. Well, and of course, the MTA members have done a good job of getting the services out to their uh, customers and their communities. But you raised an interesting point with some of the changes afoot, potentially, uh, those operations could be in jeopardy. The FCC has made some decisions that are, at this point, uh, changeable, and we're hoping to get them to change it, that would, I think, undermine the revenue stream that is needed to sustain services that have already been built and to build the new, new services, new advanced services that are needed in telecommunications. And I just don't want the Federal Communications Commission to leave rural America behind again. We've, we've been left behind before, never again, because if you leave rural America behind, it means things like telemental health, uh, telehealth services, distance learning, uh, you know, all the economic issues. All of those things will be done elsewhere, not in areas that are starved for the kind of advanced services that you need. Well, and, and uh, there's the areas that have been built, but then there's still areas that are to be built. And it's, you know, that's not really resolved yet either, is it? How that gets No, that's right. And you need a universal service fund base of funding to do that. We don't have a traffic jam of big companies lining up to see, can we, can we provide the build out to the most rural areas of the country? Mm -hmm. That's not what they want. They want to try to figure out how do they get their, their services and their new products into the most densely populated areas of the country. The FCC has to, in my judgment, interpret the law the way we've written it so that we we don't leave people behind and that there is in fact universal service of telecommunications opportunities. Well, and you speak to this from knowledge, a uh, 300-person town, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. You were fifth in your class? Well, no, I didn't say that. I said I was in the top five. Top five. You've got to right. listen oh, carefully. Yes, that's right. And, but, you know, I grew up in a town with a four-digit telephone number and party lines, and so I, I know wherever I speak. How big was your class? Well, nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, top five. <laughs> uh, so, but something I think is, is, you know, jumping from the telecommunications world, what impresses me the most is that we're getting a scoop here before the big media outlets. You're an author of a fiction novel. I am. It's, uh, it's called Blowout. This is the novel here, and tomorrow is the published date, and uh, uh, this, this book is a, an action thriller. It's the first book of a two-book series that I've, I'm writing. This is my third book, by the way, and uh, I think people will first enjoy it. Book, though, the first, first book of uh, fiction, yeah. And it's uh, something about eco-terrorism uh, or something? Eco-thrillers. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of action in this book, okay. but it actually deals with the subject of energy, in a serious way, but it's uh, it's an action thriller book, and uh, I think people it'll make people think. Good. Well, we'll look forward to uh, to reading that. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Very much. Thank you.